Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I have an update for the Face the Music Project Pan. This is in collaboration with the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. I will have that link down below as well as the creators, Jessica and Misty. Jessica and Misty created over 300 prompts based off of songs and I just thought it was so creative. I had to jump in. This is I think my second update, um, it's monthly updates on the 12th every month and it is a year long project I think. If not, I'll have it on the screen and you can follow along with the hashtag facethemusicpp. Jessica and Misty suggest working on three to six projects, rolling style, which means every time you meet your goal on an item, you roll a new product in. And I've been working on, I've been rolling in 10 new items every single month, no matter if I meet my goals or not. I know that sounds a little crazy, but I have pretty low usage goals. And I just want to get through my collection this year. I, I'm trying to touch everything that I have so I know if I like it or not. <laughs> and so I'm kind of using this project as like a shop my stash. And it's working really well for me. I have been hitting a lot of goals each month. Before I get into my updates, if you like panning content and talking about makeup, that's all I do here, so subscribe before you leave if you have not already, and let's get into my update. I have the spreadsheet on my phone, so I'll be looking at that, and there were quite a few prompts that I did not finish last update that I were, was continuing to work on this past month, so I will talk about those first. Um, and the first one, in that category was for Danza Kaduro, and that is a product you love that has seen better days. And I really love the Becca highlighters. What is the actual name of these? Shimmering Skin Perfector. <laughs> it is not perfect. Anyway, I have this one in the shade Vanilla Quartz, and it was shattered, so I had to repress it, so it's definitely seen better days. But my goal for this was just to use it five times and last update I had four uses so I really only had to use it one more time to hit my goal. But I used it five more times so I have a total of nine uses and this is what the product is looking like now. Um, hopefully you can tell I have worn away like the pattern or the imprint that the paper towel left on the surface when I did repress it. So I can definitely see a difference and a lot of use in this item which makes me really happy and I can roll it out today. So I will replace this for sure. Well I'm replacing them all because I, I roll in 10 items every month but moving on. <laughs> The next item was for Fast Car, and that is a quick finish product. I had rolled in my Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub, and I was to finish this. I had only used it once in the last update, but I have used it one more time, <laughs> and I did finish it. There's like a little bit of remnants in there, but that's like from the shower water, you know, mixing with the product. But this is the scent Cotton Candy, and I love this scent. It's so sweet, and oh, I can still smell it. It's just so good. But I did finish this. I'm really happy. And yeah, these take me forever to use up because I don't really use them every time I shower. I'm a pretty lazy <laughs> showerer. <laughs> um, so yeah, it took me, it takes me a while to finish these, but I finished that one. Next is Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now, and that's a product that won't defeat you. And 
Speaking of being lazy in the shower, I rolled in my Tree Hut uh, Moisturizing Shave Oil. This product was in a project previously and I wanted to finish it and I did not meet that goal in that project. So I am determined uh, for this product, product not to defeat me. I want to finish it in this project. I had one use last update. I did not finish it, obviously, and I've used it once since the last update and I still have not finished it. So I have two uses total in this project. I am not going to lie to you guys. I do not think I will finish this by next update, but my goal is to use it two times instead of just one. So hopefully I can do that. The next prompt that rolled over was sorry not sorry and that's a product you don't feel sorry for buying and I rolled in my give highlighter it's technically called check my glow multi-dimensional illuminating highlighter and I have the shade platinum cowgirl my goal was to use this five times and I had three uses in the last update I used this 11 times <laughs> it's like why couldn't I have done that last update you know what I mean um but yeah this and the Becca highlighter were the only highlighters I was working on this past month so that's why I have so many uses I just kept on using it so this is what it's looking like now um yeah you're not really gonna see a ton of movement maybe the pattern is worn off a little bit on some of the bricks but yeah I have a total of 14 uses and it is rolling out next was true colors and that's a colorful product good molecules always comes through with their colorful packaging so I rolled in this niacinamide serum I had never used this product, so I really just wanted to get to know it a little bit, and it was brand new when I rolled it in. My goal was 10 uses, and uh-oh, my spreadsheet got all messed up. I had four uses last update, so I only had to use it six more times, but I used it nine more times. Um, so I have 13 uses in this project, and... Hopefully you can see it right here. Like I said, it was new when I rolled it in and the last update it was about here. So this is what 13 uses looks on this item. And I'm just gonna keep on using this. I enjoy it, I think. I have a hard time like knowing if a skincare product is working for me. I don't know if I'm the only one. Um, maybe my skin is just like decent to begin with I yeah I don't know I'm not trying to flex <laughs> but, um but yeah this is rolling out and it's another goal met the last prompt that rolled over um was your man and that is a unisex product I rolled in my L'Oreal ever pure scalp care and detox scrub and my goal is to finish this I didn't use it at all last update, um, so I was determined to get it out this update, and I did. I finished it after two uses. I do not enjoy this product. I'm so glad it's out of my collection. I don't have to use it anymore. It just did nothing. It did nothing for my scalp. So, Moving on to the 10 items that I rolled in last month. So this is just one month's worth of product progress <laughs> the first one was boy with love and that is another unisex product i rolled in my giant cerave moisturizing cream i use this as part of my nighttime skincare routine um and my goal is to finish this i'll have my weights and stuff on the screen because it's really hard to see this product because it's white. I have not finished it, but I did use it 12 times. I do my skincare every single night, but 
as you can see by my numbers, I did not use this every single night because sometimes I'm just feeling a little, you know, lazy. And I just want to use like a thinner moisturizer. It's usually if I don't wear makeup that day. So I don't have to like remove my makeup and do more steps. If I if I just have to, you know, do minimal steps, I'll do my thinner moisturizer that I have. But if I'm doing all the steps, I feel like I need a thicker one. I don't know why that is. Maybe I feel like my skin is like stripped a little more. I don't know. But this does not pump out anymore because it's so low. I'm going to guess it's like down here. Um, so when I use it, I just open it and use whatever is on the end of this. That is usually enough for my face. Um, so yeah, this is, this is going to be in for a while, even though there's not very much product left. I just, I just know it'll be in for a few more months, but I have 12 uses so far. And then the next one is Brown Eyed Girl. This one you had to roll in a brown product. So I rolled in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. My goal for this was to use the shade Twig uh, five times, but also create a look using just this palette. So I will put up on the screen the look that I created I am just so impressed by these shimmers still. This is a very old palette. It's from I think 2018, I think is when it came out. And yeah, the shimmers are just still so gorgeous. Um, but I will also put on the screen what Twig was looking like. And I did use it five times. And on the fifth use, I actually hit pan. So this is what it's looking like now. You can see the little pan in there. The last couple uses with this eyeshadow, I put it all over my lid and in the crease. So I was using a little bit more product than some other uses. So that's how I hit pan. I'm so excited. How many pans do I have in here? One, one, two, three, four, five. I have six pans and one empty eyeshadow in this palette. That's pretty good for me. Uh, I know other people have, you know, a lot more panned eyeshadows, but the next prompt was forever and always, and that is for something you will repurchase. And I have repurchased this perfume twice. This is my third bottle of it, and I know when I roll Right now, I will purchase it again. This is the Good Chemistry in the Scent Queen Bee. I get this from Target. I'm not sure if you can get that anywhere else, but my goal was just to use this 10 times. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> and I don't really prefer wearing perfume just around the house if I don't have to. Maybe during the weekend, like when my husband is home during the day, I will wear it, you know, just to smell good for him. <laughs> um, but my goal was 10 uses, and I used it 12 times. So this is rolling out. This is my favorite. Mm, top two, I would say. Top two perfumes. So it was just so easy to wear. I, I really enjoyed it. But it is rolling out of this project The next, sorry, I'm looking at my baby on his monitor. He's moving around. <laughs> the next song is If You Only Knew, and that is a product you secretly love. I rolled in my Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Concealer, um, and I secretly love this applicator. I know it got a ton of hate, for a long time um just how like gross and like a uh, non-hygienic people think it was but i like it because it's just so easy to apply my goal for this was to use it 10 times it was basically brand new i had used it once before i rolled it in this project 
and I said in my update when I rolled it in that the number of uses really just depended on how many times I did my makeup between updates because this is my only concealer that I had open. Um, I've used it 22 times so this is what it's looking like. I feel like it's less or it's I have less than half of the product left which for 22 uses I feel like that's I feel like it's not lasting very long. Maybe I'm using too much concealer. I do have it on today. Um, I put it under my, on my under eyes, forehead, nose, and chin. And this shade is pretty light for me as well. It's 095 Cool Ivory. Um, I feel like it still works though, but I don't know, I feel like I'm going through it really fast, but it is rolling out of this project, but I'm going to just continue using it until it's empty. Um, yeah, because that's how I use my concealers. Uh, next is Missing You, a product you will miss when it's gone. And for that, I rolled in my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. I have repurchased this many times so I know when it's gone I will miss it and I'll want to repurchase it again. My goal was just five uses and I did. I used that five times and it was so easy. I think this melts your powder in really well and I love the scent of it. It's like a really light coconutty scent which I prefer obviously like in the summer months but it's beautiful like any time of year, honestly. Next is Never Gonna Give You Up. Never Gonna Let You Down. That is a holy grail product. And for that, I rolled in a lipstick. This is a new holy grail, but I just, I love it so much. It's my everyday lip. Like if, I'll, I'll talk about it. <laughs> it's my L'Oreal Rouge Matte Lip Stain. And specifically the shade I rule. I just realized I haven't been swatching things. I will swatch the things rolling in, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, this is just such a good, like thin, comfortable formula, and it stays on my lips really well. I just wanted to use this five times. I'm panning other lip products, so, you know, I didn't want to completely focus on this, but I did use it nine times. I just love it so much. It's it's hard for me not to wear this. Like, I have all the other products, all the other lip products in projects, so I don't use this every day. You know what I mean? So, but it is rolling out, and I will continue using it. <laughs> Next is, oops, I did it again. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> I almost did. And that is a product you bought a backup for. And I don't have many backups. I have a powder, like a loose powder. Um, yeah, I think, and like eyebrow products. I think really the only like backups of the exact same product. One of those being this. This is my Profusion Good Brow Day Waterproof Brow Pen. I originally bought this for my eyebrows and it was too dark. So I had tried it as an eyeliner and I fell in love. It was a beautiful charcoaly brown color. And so this is a repurchase and I bought two of them at the time that I bought this. So that's, I have a backup, I have two of these. And I just discovered that this is the wrong color. <laughs> this is not the color that I fell in love with and I'm so, so sad. This is like a lighter, more warm toned, which is fine. I did use it the five times. I actually used it six times. And I only use this as an eyeliner. I don't use it in my brows. So um, yeah, it's rolling out. Next is Unbreak My Heart. Unbreak my heart. 
<laughs> product that is broken or has broken packaging. I don't have anything with broken packaging. And honestly, like if something breaks like a product, I will just repress it. But I did have this Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette in the shade Terrific. And this middle shade has a chunk missing out of it. So I didn't think it was worth repressing just for that little chunk. But my goal was to use this for two looks. And I did do that. I will have the looks on the screen. One of these looks was for Valentine's Day. So that was really nice. And then I did just another day. <laughs> oh, this is a nice palette. It's not like overwhelmingly beautiful, but it's nice. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> it's pretty. It created two pretty looks. Next is Under Pressure. Under Pressure. No, 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 no. That is a product you feel pressured to use before it goes bad. I immediately thought of SPS, SPF. And so I had this moisturizer already opened. It was like halfway used, but it has SPF in it. So I need to use it up before it goes bad. This is my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream with SPF 30. And my goal is to finish this. Um, I have not finished it, but it's going to be pretty hard to see the product because it's white. Hopefully the weights will show that I've used it because I have used it nine times. I, I don't think I like this product. It's thicker than I like to wear under my makeup. It's fine. Like I'm wearing it today and I don't like the SPF smell. So that's why I've only used it nine times. I do moisturize my face every day. I've just only used that one nine times. So it is staying in. And then the last prompt that I rolled in last update is what was I thinking? <laughs> I sang this last update. I'm not saying it again. A product you aren't sure why you bought. And I have a few of these items in my collection like specifically from the end of last year when I went through like a makeup buying spree. But the product that I thought of like immediately was this palette from Clarity Cosmetics. It is the Safari palette and it is a gorgeous palette. Like I really enjoy the shades and formulas that I've tried from. Clarity Cosmetics, but what was I thinking with this color story? This is not me at all, um, but I had a goal of using this for two looks, and I did. I did it. The first look was kind of me dipping my toes into this palette using the blues, so that was a little more easy, and that look was gorgeous. And then the second look, I used the reds, the pinks, the oranges. I went completely out of my comfort zone. And you guys who follow me on Instagram absolutely loved the look. And it completely, like, scared me. I am on the fence with this palette. Honestly, I think I might declutter it. I'm so sad to say that. I'm just, it's so, I, I don't think I will ever wear those, like, that bold of a look again. Like, it's just not my style. So, yeah, I might post this on my Instagram stories, you know, because this was part of the scavenger hunt that Clarity Cosmetics does where it's, it was a free item. You just had to pay shipping. So I think I will offer it like that. Like you just have to pay shipping. I'm not going to charge for the palette. But I just. I'm torn. I'm so torn. But that is rolling out of this project. So that's nice. We are at the end of what items I have been working on. 
So now let me show you the 10 new items that I am rolling in to this project. Okay, I'm really excited about some of these items, especially the first one. So this is for the song Bed of Roses, and that is a rose or flower theme. And I, ha I just, I've been looking for an excuse to roll this into a project. It's from Ravi Beauty. This is a new beauty brand from the YouTuber Allie Glines. I love her. She is, she just seems so genuinely kind and she just really loves makeup and loves what she does. And so I knew I had to support her. I've been, she's like one of the only beauty youtubers outside of like the panning community that I still watch so yeah I'm rolling in her effortless lip in the shade Dahlia and this is a beautiful just neutral everyday shade and the formula is actually really comfortable it's a little glossy for me I prefer like a matte lip and as you can see, there is a shine to this, but it is, I have worn it a few times and I'm going to build it up because you can either wear this sheer or you can build it up, which I think shows up better on your lips. Um, but hopefully you can tell I did build it up here <laughs> and this is like more sheared out. These lights are not doing me any favors with that shiny lip. But my goal for this is to use this 10 times. And I think that is going to be really easy for me to do. The next song is Brown Sugar. And that is a sweet themed product. I, I was surprised how little items in my collection I have that are like sweet themed either the name or you know the name <laughs> that's really all I can really think of but I am gonna roll in my Viseart Petite Force in the Lilas version what colorway Ly Lilas Lilas um I have not used this and two of the shades in here are named after like sweet things there is a shade called fondant and a shade called tiramisu i'm even gonna take this little protector off but this is just a gorgeous cool tone neutral palette um i know i'm going to enjoy using this i don't think i'm gonna swatch the eyeshadows that i'm rolling in spoiler but i will pop up like a picture from the brand on what these shades look like. My goal for this is to use it no pan left behind twice. So use each shade two times. The next prompt is Cheap Trick. And that always reminds me of my mom for some reason. I don't know. Um, that is any product under $5. And I struggled with this. Like I... I was thinking of like elf products but those have really gone up and then I was like oh do I have anything wet and wild and, and I didn't want to roll in like a super I have the elf quad like eyeshadow quad I, I, I didn't want to roll that in but then I remembered I have a few items from the brand AOA from Shop Miss A site and this is a dollar fifty five this is the AOA Paw Paw Contour Stick. And I have the shade Nude. Hello. It's not going to focus. But I just want to use this five times. I've never used it before. This is the shade. Oh my gosh. It's such a beautiful cool tone contour shade. I'm trying to finish my Milk Makeup Bronzer, like cream bronzer stick. So I don't want to take too many uses away from that. So I think five uses for this is going to be just fine for me. 
I have a feeling that's going to be beautiful nose contour. <laughs> um, diamonds is the next prompt. And that is a diamond or gemstone theme or name. I'm going to be rolling in another highlighter because now that those other two are rolling out, I'm not working on any highlighters. So I'm going to roll in my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. This is my oldest product in my collection. I'm embarrassed to say this is from 2024. 2024. It's from 2014. It is 10 years old. Um, but this is what it's looking like. And I have the shade Moonlit Pearls. And I did have to look this up because I wasn't sure. But a pearl is a gemstone. Did you know that? I didn't know that. This is gorgeous. Look at it. I love this highlighter. I need. I just need to check if it's so good or not. Like I feel like last time I used this, which granted was like two years ago, I feel like this gave me those like bumps. Those what are they, Milia? This is my only highlight. This is the only product that I feel like would cause that. So this is kind of an experiment. I'm rolling it in for 10 uses, um, mainly to see if it's still good or not. So I will report back next update. Uh, the next song is It Takes Two. It Takes Two. I don't know the words. A duo product, either double sided, duo palette, etc. And I am rolling in one of my newer Give Beauty products. This is the Feeling Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo. And I have the shade Honeymoon Phase. Isn't that cute? Reminds me of my honeymoon. We went to Maui. Um, this was in like 2019. So long before the tragic fire. But I can't even get this open. Okay. There we go. These are the shades. Absolutely gorgeous, cool tone shades. Oh my gosh. My goal is just to use this five times. It doesn't matter what shade I use. I could just use one shade or I could mix them. Let me actually swatch a mixture if I can. Never done that before. That was a little difficult. I'm sure it'll be easier with a brush, but this is the lightest shade and then the darker shade and then them mixed together. So I think those are gonna be really pretty. I totally could have worn those with this look today. But yeah, hopefully I like the formula. Next is Memories, and that is a product that brings back memories when I think of memories, I think of my wedding day um, and like the products that I used on my wedding day. And I was having such a hard time remembering what I used. But one thing that I specifically remember is the nail polish that I used. And it is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the shade Slick Slate. My photographer actually like took a picture of me painting my nails on my wedding day so I'll just put a picture up for fun. Maybe I'll put an, a wedding picture up too just to brag a little bit. <laughs> I felt so beautiful that day but my goal is to use this three times. So these insta dries usually last me about a week. I think this will be really fun to use underneath some eyeshadows just like switch it up a little bit. I might wear it on its own. I don't know. Three uses is my goal. I don't think I'll have that done by next update, but hopefully two updates. Uh, the next is Moves Like Jagger. Look at the Moves Like Jagger. And that is a brand from the UK. I don't know if I have any other brand from the UK, but I do have Cosmic Brushes. I'm so excited to roll in. 
the Winter Wonderland palette. I have not used this yet, so I'm a little scared. This color story is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at the blue to pink. Oh my gosh. Okay. I talked a little about this in my Pan Those Eyeshadows update, if you guys watched that. But I'm trying to reduce my goals for palettes in projects so I can focus on my Pan Those Eyeshadow shades a little more. I am wearing some of those shades today. But I'm just going to roll this in for one look. Just to get a little familiar with this palette. Oh my gosh. I. Yes. We'll see what gorgeous look I can create out of this. Can you tell I'm, I'm a little speechless about that? Um, next is Natural. And that is a nature themed product. Um, I'm going to roll on another new product that I've never used, and that is a liquid blush from P. Louise. This is the cheek of it. And I'm rolling in the shade Legally Lavender. So lavender is a flower, nature themed. And did I forget to swatch something? No. Okay. <laughs> I just want to use this five times. Um, it has this sponge applicator and as you can see I have not used it but we're going to change that right now. Warning if you have that phobia but I am going to squeeze this out. I'm squeezing really hard and it's not coming out. I'm a little scared. Oh here it comes. Hello. You guys missed it. That was a fail. Why is this so hard? I don't like this packaging. <clears throat> Here we go. Ooh, that was anticlimactic. Oh my. How is that lavender? There it is on my hand it is just it looks like a baby pink to me we'll see if I like the formula um, I have it in for a five uses two more and the second to last one is say my name say my name say my name when no one is around you say baby I love you that is a product with a person's name. And I struggled. I struggled with this one. Like, I looked all throughout my collection. Finally, when I got down to lip liners, I found one that is in the shade Dopey. This is from ColourPop. Lippy Pencil and Dopey is a name of one of the dwarves from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So I'm rolling it in for five uses. Uh, let's do it here. I think this is just going to be a really good cool toned lip liner for me. I am trying to finish a lip liner, but it's very warm toned. Um, so I think this will be a good option either to mix with it or just for other variations of a lip look. A lip look, is that a thing? I think so. And the very last product that I'm rolling in is for the Prompt White Snake. And that is a white color or snake theme. I immediately thought of my That's Tote palette from ColourPop. The packaging is snake skin. And then a lot of the shades are snake related so we have boa python constrictor snake eyes cold-blooded you know etc this is other than my soul true palette this is my most used palette in my collection i have five pans and 
I think I'm just gonna go with like one look. I'm, I'm trying to create a look with all of my palettes this year. And I feel like the shades that don't have pan don't have a lot of progress. So I would not hit pan very quickly or anything like that. I might try to use cold blooded a few times just to get a little more use on it but really my goal is just to use this palette for one look and then we'll see what else I can do with it so that is my update um, I'm really excited for these products that I'm rolling in a lot of them I've never used before and the other ones are just favorites so um, yeah, if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.